Once upon a time, there was a little boy who was very, very shy. He did not have any brothers or sisters, just himself. And he lived all alone with his mommy and daddy. But his mommy and daddy were always working. His daddy worked in a factory that was miles and miles and miles away. So he only saw him on the weekend. Mom worked in a restaurant and she came back really late at night. So the boy, when he left school, had to get the school bus, get off the bus, walk all the way up the stairs to his house, open the door by himself, turn on the oven and cook the food that his mom had prepared, eat it by himself, do his homework by himself, brush his teeth, wash his face and go to bed all by himself. His mum would come home about 10 o'clock at night and he was always still awake waiting for his mum. And when he heard his mum close the door, he closed his eyes and went to sleep. When mum came back home at 10 o'clock, she always went to the boy's bedroom first just to check that he was sleeping. And she saw his eyes were closed every single night and she gave him a kiss on the head. And he always tried to stay awake but as soon as his mum kissed his head he always fell asleep in the morning when he got up his mum would have breakfast with him tell him what food she'd made that night for the next day's dinner and then he would go to school on the weekend his dad would get home about Friday night about 10 o'clock and that's the night that the boy could stay up a little bit later because it was no school on Saturday anyway This boy did not have a very nice life because all he did was come home Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday by himself and look after himself. And he didn't have any friends to play with. And he could never go outside because his mum said, don't play outside. Sometimes he could on the weekend, but his dad would come home on the weekend and his dad would usually sleep all the time because he was so tired. And he'd have to help his mum wash and clean and do all the housework so the boy felt very very fed up well one day I think it was a Tuesday the boy was feeling particularly fed up and he got off the bus and went upstairs to his house he turned on the oven to cook his food and he heard a ding dong huh who's that I didn't ask any friends around he said so he went and opened the door And there, at the bottom of the step, was a little box, and nobody to be seen. He looked around, but he couldn't see anybody, and there was no postman at five o'clock. So he took in the package, and he closed the door, and he went and put it on the table. He turned off the oven, and let his food cool down a bit, and as it was cooling down, he opened up this little box. He unraveled it, and opened the paper, And inside was just a little note. And the little note said, Follow the blue whale. Hmm? Is this for me, he thought. Follow the blue whale, what does that mean? Well, he couldn't really think of what it meant. And then he started to get hungry and remembered his food was in the oven. So he put the card on top of his piano and went and ate his dinner. As he was washing his dishes... He thought about blue whale. Blue whale, what does that mean? As he was washing his face and getting ready for bed, he thought, blue whale. Blue whale? I have no idea what that means. As he was getting his pyjamas on and getting ready for bed, blue whale. He had no idea. He put the box in the trash and took it out, but left the card on top of the piano. And as he closed his eyes, he thought, What is this blue whale? He had no idea. And then, as usual, he heard the mom opening the door and he closed his eyes and got a kiss on the head and fell asleep. And he forgot all about the note that said, follow the blue whale. The next day, he got up and did the same. And the next day, and the next day, and the weekend, his dad came. And he went on like this for a few weeks. And I think his dad took the card and he forgot about it. And then one strange day, as he was going to school on the school bus, 
he saw a picture of a blue whale on a car. When he was in the classroom, he was studying some words, and there was a blue whale in his textbook. At the break time, his friend had a toy blue whale, and then as he was getting on the bus, there was a toy blue whale on his seat. He picked it up, and it said, "Come with me." <gasps> the boy didn't know what to do, so he held on tight to this blue whale. And when he got off the bus, the blue whale started to pull like a magnet, but the opposite direction. It was pulling him, and he held on tight. And as he was getting to his door, it pulled him away, and it pulled him down the street. And he was trying to hold on to it like a dog that was running. And the blue whale kept pulling and pulling and pulling, and he kept running and running. And before he knew it, he was down the street, and he didn't know where he was. The blue whale kept pulling and pulling and pulling. And he pulled him all the way to the harbour, and the blue whale pulled him onto the ship, and down the steps, and into the cabin. Well, it was dark then, and the boy was very hungry, but there was some food that was in the cabin, a nice sandwich, and a bottle of milk. Anyway, the boy tried to get out, but when he got to the top of the ship. The ship had already sailed, and there was sea everywhere, and he was hundreds and hundreds of miles away from his home. He didn't know what to do, and he started to cry. But then the blue whale started to nudge him on the shoulder. It was a floating blue whale, and it had eyes now. And he's like, "What are you doing?" The blue whale nudged his shoulder back down the stairs, and this time into another room. And the blue whale. Pointed with his tail to a door, and the boy opened the door. There, inside the door, was a very old man with a white beard and a sailor's hat. He must be the captain of this mysterious ship. The boy sat down, and the old man started to speak. <laughs> 